a few things to grind for today. I want to get myself some sable eyes, I need to get some socks and throws, and I'm also working on getting some cells. I'm currently on a route right now, hopefully this one will have one. I just finished one a second ago that didn't have any, but I have a feeling that this one will give it to us. And also, let's pop the daily incense right now and see what happens. We might get a galarian bird. And before we dive into that though, not a shiny licky tongue, they are boosted. Well, I'm really sad to say, it does not look like we're getting cells from this route either, so I guess we might as well complete it. There's always a chance we could get a rare XL candy. I've had it happen a few times, but it didn't happen now. Anywho, let's just keep going with it, see what we get. Well, believe it or not, this is my fourth route without a cell, which is just fantastic. It's all RNG, obviously, but that's kind of ridiculous after four of these things. Hopefully it won't take too much longer for me to get at least one. And route number five finally gives us some cells. They give us just a single cell, but that's fine. And with that one cell, we're officially at 130, which means we still need 120 more to be able to do the full Zygarde transformation. But, you know, in the end of the day, I don't really want to do that right now. Like I've mentioned in multiple videos, I really want to get my hands on a shiny one or a better one at some point and then transform it. But there isn't a guarantee that that's even coming anytime soon. So we'll see what's up. And route number seven gives us more cells, but we still need to get one more. Hopefully it'll just be the eighth one and we can be done with it. And route number eight gives us cell number three. We're officially done with that. Just brought down a thunderous raid. Will we get a shiny? We do not, but it's a 2031. This is literally 60 off the Honda. Well, a little bit of time has passed and unfortunately nothing shiny has really happened, but something good did happen here. As you can see, I have the sable eye here. And the good thing is I can now finally max this thing to level 50. I just got enough XLs. I've been running a mega Gengar and catching every single one of the sable eyes. And I've been getting a decent amount of the XL candies. So let's just do it. Let's make it level 50. And now it is officially there. I still need to make this a best buddy. I like doing that with all my shadow hundos. I also completely forgot to prove that it's actually a hundo, but there we go. A level 50, 100% shadow sable eye is just so cool. But with that being said, time to go to the gym. And that was a very good day at the gym, wasn't it, Goku? Felt yes. good, right? I mean, yes. we had to come in, unfortunately, in the last hour that it was open, because on Sundays they close early. But we pretty much got everything except for one thing. What was it, like tricep overheads? Yeah, yeah. one tricep workout, but also, we got all of our biceps, we got all of our shoulder workouts, and so that's what counts. Right, and also I do want to point out that I know you noticed that we just did a whole bunch of arms. We do other things too, but today was arm day. Yeah, no, all in all, pretty good time, and then we went to get some food at a grocery store, and then I decided hey there's a rocket here and well look at this Rhyhorn it's a 613 it is a hundo so I just powered up my shadow hundo Sableye all the way to level 50 just to a little bit later get myself a shadow hundo Rhyhorn which is really cool but I'm thinking we should probably evolve this thing so let's do it I can't max it right now I don't have the XLs to do it like I could probably Slacker. do it I, I mean you're right we also had a whole event filled with Rhyhorns <laughs> this would have been really good if that happened Slacker. earlier. Ah, oh, jeez. But anyways, there's Shadow Rhydon. You call yourself a content creator. I know, I am pretty awful. I'm sorry. The I'm worst. sorry that I've let you down. But you know what? This is the first ever Shadow Rhyperior I'll ever have, so that's exciting. I've never actually done it. Also, there's a person here that calls themselves the Rhyperior Ranger that said they really wanted this, so yeah, I took your luck on that one probably, because I know he watches. He comments from time to time. The worst. I am the worst, so my apologies, but there it is, Shadow Hundo Rhyperior. And the best part is apparently this thing is pretty nasty in Master League, so I need to max this thing out and see how bad it is. But first, it would be a 42, Ooh, wow, that's a big one too, good lord. Probably gonna have to do that for the future, but we can't do that now. But yeah, for now we're just gonna eat some food. Ready? Phillies! Let's do it. And now Goku has dropped me off, but on the way home, I did get myself a shiny Machop, so there we go, we got a shiny. And you know what, I'm thinking, let's just power this up all the way that we can do it. We obviously can't max it right now, but we can get up to four 4096. This thing apparently is disgusting in Master League and also as a rock type attacker since it's shadowy It's also really good if I give it rock wrecker I'm not gonna do that right now But we do have a rocket event coming up very soon where I can remove frustration from this guy And then we'll be able to give him rock wrecker. Yeah, I cannot believe we got this This is probably one of the best shadow hundos I have which is saying something because I have quite a few meta relevant shadow hundos I mean the Salamans right here is still one of the best dragon types in the entire game The shadow Suicune's just cool because obviously it's a shadow legendary also got the Miss Maggie this is 
probably one of the more useless ones I have, admittedly, but then the Gardevoir, best fairy type in the game. Then we've got Nidoking, one of my favorite Pokemon, so we're gonna give it a slide. Not very useful for anything, though. And then we got Sableye, which was pretty good at the time. And then we have Rhyperior. That is seven freaking Shadow Hundos, which is crazy. But on that note, I'm gonna get some sleep and I'm gonna see you tomorrow because we have some more things that I want to achieve in this video. But this is a hell of a way to start. Okay, it's the same day. I know I said I was gonna see you tomorrow and everything, but I just, you know, I'm just kind of kicking back, relaxing a little bit, just enjoying the night. And there was a rocket on my place. And look at this ducklet. It is a 15, 13, 15. It's not another Shadow Hundo. Not that I'm complaining, but like, I don't know what's going on with my luck when it comes down to these IVs. This is ridiculous. Admittedly, it is a ducklet, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but like, our, my shadow luck has been nuts as of late. So unless something else crazy happens within an hour and a half, I'll see you tomorrow. The next day. And now it's tomorrow. I know it looks a lot like yesterday, but I promise it is now tomorrow. It is currently 1227. But the reason why I wanted to do a clip right now is because of this right here. I have the Go Battle League timed research completely finished for page four or five. This is the farthest I've ever gone with this. Plus I could really use the dust right now, not gonna lie. Like, I really need it after all the powering up we've done. We've already powered up a Shadow Hondo all the way to level 50, and then another one that's pretty close to level 50 as it is. So getting any dust right now is very helpful. Plus an Elite Fast TM, and of course, two XL Rare Candies. That's also really huge. And now we just have one more page. Five of five right here. We get the same exact stuff near the end, but just trust me, that dust is very needed. But since it's like 12-something right now, I'm thinking I'm just gonna get some sleep, maybe do a couple more battles here and there, and then we're gonna continue the grind. And now it's the daytime, and we are starting off good. This is my first route, and we have ourselves some cells here. And it's just a single cell, but I'm still down with it. And also, we have Mateo here, so let's just click on him and exchange a gift just for fun. I still do it from time to time, and this actually is a fun one. Postcard-wise, I mean, like, this is a fun one to send off to people. So we'll send this to somebody, and maybe we'll get something kind of fun in return. I've been getting a lot of Japanese gifts, so this one is from Japan. It's so funny that I keep saying that. But this is really good, because I really like that form of the Scatterbug slash Vivian, so pretty cool. And I'm already maxed on eggs, so I'm not going to get any eggs from this. But there we go, Mateo is done. And I don't think we have enough to get the Japanese form yet, but we've just been steadily been building those up. And route number three gives us another cell, but of course I click on the palmy. Gotta wait for them to reload back in, and there we go, just one. Still gotta do at least one more route, hopefully it'll be just on the next one. And here is cell number three on route number five. So we only had to do five today as opposed to yesterday's eight. But now we should be at 135 cells, so we're getting really close to 150. And our first shiny of day two is going to be a Lickitung. Again, they are very boosted, so it's cool to see it. And hopefully this one's pretty decent, but of course it's too far away. Great curveball throw. Hopefully we get it. One, two, and three. We got it. But will you be a good one? 309 is... Yeah, not really. 462, but it's a shiny. But apparently we can back-to-back -back it. We got another shiny licky tongue right here, so we literally just incensed a shiny next to a wild shiny. That doesn't happen too often. That's really cool. And like usual, I had to put you guys down for a second to catch it, but one, two, and three. We got it. And maybe Maybe this one will be slightly better, or exactly the same. It's way better. Okay, 14, 9, 15. I'm also gonna show you this just to prove it, but yeah, look at that. Literally within a minute, we got them. That's just so crazy. And I've also completely forgot to do this. We have the Field Research Breakthrough Box. Let's get ourselves a you know, stone. very cool. And an encounter with a Gumi that is a 401, not very good. Not gonna lie, this threw me off for a second because I didn't quite realize that it was a shiny. Shiny Scraggy, again, is not exactly the best looking shiny, but it's not bad, all things considered. I do like the dark pink on the stomach and everything, and it turns like a darker color. It is noticeable when you see it, though it does throw you off for just a split second. Though Scrafty, Scrafty is good. Scrafty turns green and stuff. It looks really nice. In fact, you can kind of see it down there. But let's see how good this Scraggy turned out to be. <laughs> 14, 3, 9, I want to say. I mean, it's not the best, but I know a lot of people that want them. So if they didn't get it during this event, I'll totally give it to them. And here's a shiny Mankey. We're doing suddenly really good with shinies today. I mean, this is our fourth one comparatively to yesterday, where we only got one near the very end of the day. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully this one turns out to be good though, especially for PvP. That'd be great because Annihilate is surprisingly really good. So let's see what this one turns into. 192. Yeah, not really. It does have decent looking PvP IVs, but you definitely want that defense and HP to be a lot higher. I have no idea why I decided to click on this, but shiny bronze ore. Cool. Shiny number five of the day. I'm down with shinies. Oh, admittedly, this one was pretty heavy in that one event and I got a lot of shinies of it during that event. Forget the name of the event now though. I think it was like the beginning of the year event. Anywho though, we did catch it in a Pokeball and this thing is... Yeah, 1194. And another shiny Mankey here, 931. This one's a pretty big one, all things considered. Let's catch it as long as it doesn't attack. Get in your home, please. There we go. We 
hit it. Oh, hopefully we'll catch it. One, two, three, boom. And a 931 is going to be not bad. 12, 7, 13. I gotta say, the past two days have been just fantastic. We're getting a lot of goals achieved, and we got some shinies along the way, which is fantastic. But of course, obviously, this Shadow Hundo Rhyperior is the best thing that we've gotten in quite some time, actually. And I just learned that if you pop in this guy, it only takes 1.5 kilometers to get a candy with them, and usually every single time since I maxed him out so far, he gives an XL candy. So much so now that we're actually at 28 of them. So we can power him up at least one more time, but it's gonna take, I think I saw 96 more until we're completely done. So it'll definitely take a little while, but in the end of the day, I really don't care at all. This is amazing that we have this thing, and it'll take just maybe a couple days of walking with him. Plus, I kind of want to best buddy him too, because I do that with my shadow hundos, so it already kind of works out. So hopefully this won't take too long to achieve. Smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and let me know in the comments down below. Have you gotten a shadow hundo recently, or just ever? Because they are very rare. It's a 1 in 4,096 odd rate of happening. So if you have, let me know. And also just let me know how you're doing with this event. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.